Hello everyone and welcome to NAG Graphics. We are on the way of learning 11 basic things you need to know before using Illustrator. In the first lesson we discussed the interface and today we will discuss the second thing that is the workspace. If interface is your working room, then workspace is the layout of the furniture, wiring and your appliances. Let's have a look on the layout of the things of the workspace along with their names. This highlighted thing here is called the menu bar. Below the menu bar, we have the control panel. On the left side, we have tools panel. On the right side here, we have panel stock. There are numerous things to be explained regarding all these which I will be explaining in the future lessons. Here we will learn about the management of workspace. The first of all, we must understand the need of management of workspace. With Illustrator you can perform a wide variety of work like graphic artwork, typography, animation gardening and many more like that. Illustrator has hundreds of panels containing different options and you don't need all of them together as it will create a mess. So putting the required panels at a place is called the workspace management. Let's have a look on these panels. Here I can expand the panel dock and we have color panel. Along with it we have color guide panel and then we have the color themes panel and likewise many other panels below it. This setting of panels is a preset workspace on the name of Essentials which is selected from here. Illustrator has some preset workspaces according to your work orientation like layout, painting, etc. Notice if I select layout then my panels will get changed and the panels related to the layout work will be set here. You can also design your own workspace and save it for future use as well. Let's see how to do it. I have selected the essential workspace for now. Here we have the color panel at the top. Along with it we have color guide panel. Now say we don't need this color themes panel. So I'll drag it out and simply close it. Now we want swatches to join this panel group. I will pull it from here and place it here as the blue line will appear. This panel is a bit longer than needed so let's make it short by dragging its border line above. Now this symbols panel is not needed. So let's just get rid of it. I just dragged it out and closed it. Brushes panel is needed. Okay. We want stroke to join brushes. So just pull it and place it with brushes. We don't need gradient and transparency, so just pull them out and close it. Okay. Now I want this appearance panel to group with the layer and artboards. So I will drag it out and place it right here. And for this group, we will pull this whole group out and close it. You can also have iconic view of these panels by pressing this collapse button. Now let's add some more panels to it. We need Pathfinder panel to join this dock. So just go to the Windows menu and select Pathfinder here. Now the Pathfinder comes with a group which includes Transform and Align. However, we need all of them so just drag the group and place on the dock. Now notice we have four options to dock it. Firstly, a blue line will appear on the left line of the dock. If I place it here, a new dock will be made containing these panels on the left of this dock. Secondly, a blue line will appear on the top which will dock these panels as a separate group. Third, we have a blue box appearing which will add up these panels to the group. And last, we have a blue line appearing on the right side which means a new dock will be made on the right side containing these panels. So here I want a new group so I will place it here like this. Now we want actions panel. I go to the windows menu and select actions. 
it comes with links panel and we need that too so let's just dock it as well as a new group now we want the info panel so I have selected the info panel and it comes grouped with the navigator we don't want it to group with navigator so just pull it out and drop on the dock as a new group now place navigator as a new group as well at last we want a document info panel so just go to the windows menu and select document info it is grouped with attributes and we need that too now if i want this group to join group with the info panel here i will drag this group and place it over here when the blue box will be appearing like this so if this is the workspace that I need most of the times, then I will save it as a different name of my choice. Go to the workspace management and click on the new workspace and name it whatever you want. Like I have saved it on the name of NAC and I can use it in future as well. You can see your saved profile in the list here. Just in case you want to delete your self-created workspace profile, you will go to the manage workspace and there you will find your created profiles. Select it and then press the delete button. There is another option here of resetting workspace which means if you have accidentally or deliberately closed some of the panels like this and then I want to get back my panels which were set in the profile I will press reset workspace and since the NAC profile is selected, it will reset this profile and I will get back all the panels which were saved under this profile. So this was about the workspace management and now for the pending thing which I left in the previous lesson and that was the option of auto collapse iconic panels in the preference settings of user interface. At present this option is ticked. This means that if I am working with panels viewing as icons as it is appearing right now, and if I use any panel like this and then I go to the document again, it will collapse automatically. However, if this option is unticked and then if I use any panel and come to work on document again, that panel will still remain expanded out of the dock. So friends, this was all about the workspace and in next lesson, we will discuss the topic of zooming. Thanks for watching Nagraphics. Stay tuned.